Now, I'm going to show you a very important picture, one I showed about 10 years ago to a similar crowd, which they've never forgotten. Does anybody know what that is? A dunny, thank you, a oh, very perceptive man, thank you. Yes, it is a dunny, it is a dunny. In fact, it's a bit of a special dunny because there's a sink up the top, you can wash your hands and plus the water and it all goes. In fact, I'll give you the more precise terminology. It's Australia's first five-star rated dunny. Do you know if there's a department in Canberra that rates dunnies? <laughs> I'm serious, it's good, isn't it? They do something useful down there, right? Those are made by a company called GWA up in Brisbane, which I've followed for many, many years. And GWA specialises in making dunnies and, and taps and all that sort of stuff, right? The blue line is the dividend history of GWA. And you'll see, for, for people like me who bought the shares at a dollar in 2003, I have received $2.90 a share in dividends over the last 20 odd years. And my shares are worth $2.50. The, the purple lines are special dividends, by the way, that the company paid. Okay? So despite the Asian crisis, despite the nuclear whatever, and despite the Iraqi war, despite September 11, guess what, right? We still need dunnies, don't we? We still need someone to sit down and have a good think about life, right? <laughs> Woolworths, Woolworths relisted in, in 1994. I still got my shares. The shares are worth over 30 bucks a share today, and the dividends I've received in the last 20 odd years, $9 a share in dividends I've received on my two dollars. Not bad, huh? Now, why does this happen, right? Because the thing is about investments, you know, you need to understand why. And if I asked, if someone asked me about Sydney Residential, I've been looking at a couple of pubs, I don't understand. People say they're worth two million or one million. You go, where's the, I don't know where's the value. There's no yield, like, I don't know. But with shares, there's a very good logic to why, they, why this happens over time. Very easy to understand. And once you get it, this is a chart shown to me about 20 years ago, you get it, you understand forever. So a company starts off with $100 in assets in year one. Okay, you're a supermarket chain like Woolworths, you're a box making company like Amcor, you're an explosives company like Orica. You make a 10% return on that asset base. At the end of year one, you pay $5 in dividend to your shareholders and you keep $5 within the company. Year two, you start off with $105 in assets. Again, you make a 10% return because you've added a supermarket, built a new box plant, whatever you've done, right? You make a 10% return and your profit this year is $10.5, yep. You pay out 50% in dividends, you retain 50% within the company. So in year three, you start with 110.25. You got su more supermarkets, more plant, whatever you got, right? You make a 10% return on that, you make $11 in year three. You pay 50% out, 550, you retain 50, blah, blah, blah. Do you, get, do you understand? Can you see what's happening to the assets of the company over time? Can you see what's happening to the profit of the company over time? Can you see what's happening to the dividends of the company over time? That's why companies like Woolworths, Brambles, Amcor, etc., etc., have done so well over time.